Hello, and welcome to what's probably going to be the final Mega Man Battle Network part, or at least for a while. There's some post-game stuff that I might get to eventually, but this is going to basically be it for now. So, folder. I uh, basically went everything S or A code. Uh, so we're going to be doing the sword, wide sword, long sword combo again. Got some dino waves in here. Uh, I did throw in some waves, just because I've never used them, so I want to see how that works out. Uh, same deal with Typhoon. And yeah, we've got some Skullman 3s in here as well, which should be pretty good. Alright, and as we left it off, I believe... Now we just need to wait for Dad's mail. Want to go to bed? Sure. And I did just save, so I'm not going to worry about it here. Our address. It looks like the Scilab has got it. Hmm. Our secret lab will be discovered in no time. No matter. <laughs> because I've already made the life virus. Now we can delete. 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 You mean the end game is about to begin? <laughs> of course, the final battle at last. Yahoot, come with me. As you command, so shall it be done. Clan, you've got mail. I found the site of the World 3 Lab deep in the mountains, but there's no roads or railways, and no airport either, and it would take a lo uh, too long to walk there, I reckon. But World 3 agents are getting into Den City somehow. Hmm. Plan, look on TV. It's awful. I am pleased to announce that the World 3 Master Plan is entering the final phase. Our next targets are this country's military satellites. We'll be launching a hacking rocket from our World 3 Labs. Once we have control, the end game begins! Lan, we've got to get to the World 3 Labs. Right on, let's go. Lan, where are you going at a time like this? And we've got mail. More information on the Aura Virus. Seems like the Aura always uses a type of energy. The one I met was fire, so I hit it with the Aquatar. This seems to be an effective way to fight them. Yeah, we already did learn that. Hi, Chod. I shouldn't be taking time for my busy schedule now, but it looks like you need to learn a lesson. Lan, do you wish to net battle with Chod? Sure. So you want to see how the pros do it, huh? Proto Man! You call? Alright. Proto Man's relatively low health. Ah, slow. And he hit before I did. Okay. Uh, let's see if this does anything. Nope. I mean, he's pretty easy to deal with if you just do that over and over. I think I can take a hit now and it'll be fine? Yeah. Oh. That did not go the way I expected it to. But not too... too much for us to handle. And we get our Protoman chip. I didn't make any mistakes. What's in that Navi there? Hmm. Thing is, Proto Man is just single. Single target. We'll get rid of one of the stone men's. Gives us another another letter code, which I'm not happy about, but that's what we'll do. Higsby, you worked for the World 3, right? How, are you, how did you get in? When I got here, Higsby was taken by some strange men. They surrounded him and took off. I saw him drop something in the struggle.
There's something by the register. We got the World 3 pass. A Metroline pass? The World 3 and the Metroline? Something fishy is going on here. The pass has expired. I bet Higsby was using it for the World 3. Well... Let's go to the Metroline and use the World 3 pass. The World 3 pass? You can't use that here. The conductor told me something interesting. He said that he can sometimes hear another train, even though no train is passing him. Could there be another train line running nearby? Uh, I make new friends by collecting chips. Right now I'm looking for the Hammer M. Okay, I don't think I have that. I have Hammer A. Hmm. What was that noise? It came from below us. I wonder. The Mystery Metro Line? Maybe there's an entrance around here somewhere. I close up the school and Ms. Mari would just leave. Oh, is Ms. Mari still here? Don't know if that's important at all, but might as well check. Is she in our classroom? No. Hmm. This is kind of weird. I thought she'd be in front of the the principal's room, like the staff lounge, but. She wasn't there when I checked. Is she down this way? Maybe she's not actually here. I don't know why I care about this. I'm just curious. Hey, isn't that a dash G? Will you trade it for a repair H? Sure. Got lots of dash Gs. Don't really want to repair H, but it's fine. What do you have for- hey, wait, I've got a good idea. There's some chips that I need some data from. If you give me 30 MechGuard A chips- that ah, was this game. I'll give you an original custom chip. What do you say? Sorry, I need 30. Uh-huh. How am I doing on that one? MechGuard A, 12. Oh boy. That'll be a while. Hey, I just heard something amazing. It's what they teach 6th graders about virus busting. Want to hear about it? Sure. Well, it's pretty big stuff. I can tell you for free. I'll tell you if you trade me. Three Invis, one I chips for the Shotgun K. Great. Okay, here's my information. If you line up chips in alphabetical order... Oh yeah, three cannons in order. Uh, anyway, they changed to something cool. Well, I already, didn't, already knew that, but it was another trade, so I guess... That done... I'm the Wandering Chip Collector. I'll trade with anyone who has something I want. Hope I can find someone with an X-Panel 3S. Uh, I don't think I have that. I could probably buy it from a net merchant. Oh, she's in here. Okay. Yuri's gone off again. At a time like this. Yuri being her twin sister. Okay, so she was in the staff room. For some reason I thought we couldn't go in there outside of the scenario. But I guess we do have her ID card that we never returned to her. There's a door in the statue's base. I think I can hear something. That sound. It's getting closer. Lambs, the metro line. Let's open the door. Land? I wonder where he's going. I wonder what he's doing. I'm not entirely sure what that line was I read. Staircase. Let's go inside. Okay. Hey, Lan! Wait up! He's gone. Huh? Did can we just hear Mel's voice? Huh? I think you're hearing things. Hey, we found it. This sure does look like the World 3's. Secret Metro Line. We can get to the lab from here. Yeah, but our pass is out of date. Lan. Let's give it a try anyway. Nope, no good. Maybe we should ask your dad? Intruder alert. Leave the premises at once. Leave. Uh-oh. Let's get out of here, quick. Go see Dad.
Oh, more mail. I met one of the ore viruses too. Mine was wood, and it ignored any damage less than 80. I used a fire sword to delete it, but man are they tough. If they made an aura without an elemental affinity, it wouldn't have any weakness. A true life aura. Hmm. Don't worry about that at all. I'm sure it's fine. So one consequence of this game being in the uh, end game stage like we're in right now is that this is the background music that we get for the rest of eternity, no matter what grinding we're doing. Because if we finish the game and then load back to get more chips or whatever, this is the state that we'll be in. Glad you're okay. Is there something you needed? Yeah, Lan showed his dad the World 3 Pass. Hmm, we had heard rumors of the secret metro line. Dad, can you make this work again? Sure, we just need to reset the expiration date. Like I said, piece of cake. Wow, the expiration date has changed. Thanks, Dad. Well, that was easy. Back we go. Try the World 3 Metro Line one more time. Oh. Has anyone met the virus that looks like a bagworm? It's the one with the funny face. Word is the guy's carrying a pretty rare chip. You meet him a lot if you go deep in the net. I don't think I have seen that virus yet. There are sections of the internet I haven't been into yet, which is uh, the end game area. Or post game, I suppose. I mean, it's available earlier than that, but. Dr. Hikari speaking. Oh, hello, honey. Yes, Lan was just here. I'm worried. I think those two are in trouble. Don't worry. I'll look out for them. I'll never let what happened last time happen again. Uh, honey, I'm sorry to have called you at work. No, I'm sorry for not being at home more. Hmm, that is true. But it's okay. I'll be fine by myself here. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Bye. Dr. Hikari, I've got inf info on the virus in the World 3 rocket. It's the life virus. I see. Lan and Hub don't have a chance. You've got to act fast. Can you help me? Yes, sir. Alright. So we've made it to the secret World 3 base. Wily's Skull Motif Fortress, as is common in the Mega Man series, from what I've heard. Uh, I haven't actually played any of the standard Mega Man games. I tried one of the earlier ones once, but I don't know. I love ne Battle Network, but the, the mainline Mega Man stuff didn't appeal to me as much. Uh, we, we made it! So this is the World 3's lab, huh? Yeah, there's the hacking rocket. Let's break in. Alright. Ah! Woo! It's Mizuri and the old man! Lan, I see them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All you did was help me, and now... <laughs> not to worry at all, I'm used to hard times. Plan, you have to get up there, quick! Roger, on my way. Nah, I'm used to this, don't worry about me. Let's go, huh? Plan, do you want to challenge Higgs? That's right, huh? You gotta hurry on, huh? Keep it up. Don't let the World 3 get the best of you. Securely locked. There seems to be a jack-in port here, though. Plan, I'll disable the lock. Alright. Time for this game's equivalent to a rematch stage. Mega Man, there's gotta be a program locking this door. Find it and delete it. Roger. So we get a harder stove network here. Oven network, I guess. Yeah, much stronger chips. Okay, let's try... Typhoon. I'm not actually sure how this is going to work. 
Uh, it goes two tiles ahead. Okay. That's useful info. Sword, white sword, long sword. Oh right, this doesn't do what I thought it did. I was expecting a life sword out of that. That happens in later games. Well, the sword combo suddenly seems a lot less cool. Oh well. I'm a world free Navi, however, I can no longer help them. Please, take this. It should help you. And we get the ice block program. Ah, yes. We know how this goes. Use the ice block. Alright, uh, we've seen one of these before. Actually, this should just get it, shouldn't it? Uh, maybe not, actually. This is... Well, let's do... Let's do a double longsword. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Alright, Proto Man. I recovered two hundred. Okay. Can I restore? Yeah, I got my uh the flame's been refreshed. Oh no. Already got the data behind it. I don't think that was necessary, but that's what, what I've done. Okay. Oh, that worked out very nicely. Our data. 5,000 zenny. Okay. Okay, these are two in front, huh? Hmm. Oh right, I have wood armor. I take lots of damage from those. I was just kind of tanking a bunch of hits there. That was kind of dumb. Uh, so Typhoon... Hmm. Situationally useful, but not so great against these. Alright, that's one dealt with. Uh, oh, I thought I had to steal for some reason. Oops. Guess there wasn't really any reason to do that that way. Like taking out the candle, I do enough damage that they're not going to heal through whatever I'm doing. Just delayed everything by doing that. I 
and somehow I got an Iron Shield. I do not deserve that. Alright, 3,000 Zenny. Fire Sword P. Well, it's a good thing I uh, refreshed my fire, my ice block. I wonder if I have enough to get through here. Hmm. Yeah, so Proto Man just hits the first column for 140. Wait for it to stop moving so I can get a guaranteed hit. Uh, time bomb three. How much damage does that do? 160. Okay. Ah, not enough ice blocks. I can see the lock program right there. Leave it to us. Yai, what are you doing here? I'll explain later. Glide to work. Certainly, my lady. The rest is up to you. Thanks. I owe you one. You did it. Thanks, guy. Just helping out a friend. Be careful. Uh, so interesting um, detail here. I thought his name was spelled with a Y, but when you go to the in-game uh, gallery and look look at him, uh, he's spelled with an I there. So I'm not sure it's probably a, an error on the part of the localization team or something. Mail told me to give this to you, and we got roll three finally. Don't lose it now. Uh, which is 100 damage, not bad. Uh, I'm not going to be using it though. Uh, it's securely locked. You know, there's a jack-in for it. Jack-in, Mega Man. Hey, time for the Number Man rematch area. Door is passcode protected. Door will not open without proper authorization. Passcode hint one. None. What? No hint? Well, let's just try anything. Alright. So back to these. Too low. Green foot? Yes. Too low. Too low. Really. Too high. Second digit verification failure. So we know. Let's do two. Too low. Too low. Okay, so what's the one I skipped? I think I skipped six, right? Oh, never mind. Passcode has changed. First digit decreased. Uh, does that mean that's still six? Too high. First digit verification failure. Too low. Alright. Uh, that's a thing. Well, we'll be doing a lot of these. They're pretty forgiving though. Too high, second digit is a failure. Okay. Too high, okay. And Hurricane L. <laughs> Alright, that is a fire aura, which needs to be hit with water or a chip doing 40, I guess. Well. Uh, unfortunately, I think I missed because its head absorbed the impact. Okay, well. That second, um... 
Final wave would have been nice. Okay, apparently those iron shields are really easy to get. And once more. Too low. Too high. Too high, second digit failed. And that loop, I guess, took us back to one of the other exits, so I guess we're half done. Too high second digit failure. Let's go to 52. Too low. Well, we got, we got there. Oh, this is just data. Uh, 800, uh, 8,000, okay. That's pretty nice. So I guess I've gone every way but the right way. Oh, Waves actually did pretty good work there. right side, I guess that means we aren't missing any of the uh, mystery data in this place. Too high. Access denied. Re-input? Yes. Let's go to 22. 23, sure. Too high. Accepted. Oh, okay. That worked out better than I thought it would. Uh, what's up this way? Nothing. Okay. No, that's an A. Well, let's just uh, deal with this thing. Uh, I knew it was going to get me on the back. I, I thought about it just a second too late. Uh, this is probably not good. I'm getting Fire Aura with this kind of a performance. Too low. Try again. Yes. We'll go up to 88. Too high. Second digit's wrong. Okay, let's go to 83. Still too high. Okay, that cuts out a lot of stuff. Go in the middle. Too low. Okay. Oh, this place is, uh, longer than I remember. Hmm. Wait, that hurt it, but didn't destroy the shield? Oh, I hit the- I hit the head as it came out. Okay. That must be what happened there. Too high, too high, okay. Well, there's our program. Fighter Sword P, okay. Oh, 
Ah, Protoman, you're actually perfect for this. So later games would introduce the idea of break chips that would actually penetrate an enemy's guard. Now, the first game did not have them. I think even Hammer, which became a break chip in later games, uh, didn't do anything here. Man, still no howitzer, huh? I did manage to get a howitzer chip earlier while grinding, but it's a chip that takes a while. Like, it's not... The game is very stingy with that particular... that chip in particular. In general, Mega Man Battle Network 1 was stingy with chips, but... The howitzer chips are particularly bad. I think they got renamed to Cannonball in later games. Still too high, really. Is zero an option? Too low. I mean, that wasn't a very smart input because I should have done like a something higher. Too high, okay. I don't know why Zero wouldn't be an option, but... Mega Man, do your stuff! Huh? No good, this passcode is going to take time. Leave it to me! Mr. Higsby, numbers are no problem for Number Man. Analyzing program. Also, Higsby, aren't you the one who wrote this? Presumably, I assumed each of these areas were created by the person. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, 9630, entering passcode. Thanks, Number Man. Lan, get going. I'm gone. Higsby has had a change of heart and is now doing his best to help you, as am I. Oops, wrong menu. Uh, I always appreciated Number Man as a concept. And Higsby, Higsby's a fun character, too. Ah, ha, ha, ha! Now I load this into the rocket, and... Report, sir. It seems that intruders are in the lab. Ah! I won't be stopped now. Yahoo! Deal with them. As you command, so shall it be done. Apparently that's his line. Just a little more, and the world will be deleted! Ha, ha, ha! Say your prayers, Dr. Hikari. Why about the world three, huh? That's right. You gotta hurry. Yeah, so we could fight him, but let's not. Securely locked. There's a jack-in for it. You don't say. Alright, I'm back to the waterworks. Got ice sliding and faucet turning puzzles, I guess. I kinda like this as a as a rematch stage, because there are, like, shorter versions of all the previous stages, which it can be fun to revisit. There's actually a couple of reasons why it's a really good design. Uh, the first is that you get the, the rematch of, re, you know, kind of going through all the stages again, which is kind of, kind of interesting. They get to do, you know, one more take on everything. But they get to revamp the virus pool, so you can have stronger enemies, which, especially for that oven computer, where that was the very first dungeon of the game, actually having a late game fire enemy area works pretty well. So that's the first reason. Um, but yeah, the second also is that it lets you, uh, let's say the, the stages are shorter because a lot of the issue with some of these, like I remember waterworks dragged on quite a bit. Uh, power plant really dragged on. So having, you know, short rematch stages, I think, gets you, like, a little bit of that, hey, remember this? This is the journey you've been on, this is, you know, where you've come from. But at the same time, uh, it also, you know, just, yeah, just uh, lets you, you know, do, th do things in a better way or in a new way. That should break their viruses because they're, they're kind of funny. And that was really dumb. Oh man, I'm so bad at this cloudy. Ah, and I got knocked out of it too. Okay, this is, um... Yeah, these cloudy viruses are consistently the worst virus for me to deal with in this game. Okay, with that thing dead, good thing I have armor. Um, 
the rest of this shouldn't be a problem. Especially if I was smart and did a Dino Wave on those things right from the start. Uh oh, is this a uh, randomly guess and hope you end up somewhere good? I think I chose wrong. Okay, I think it's just go to the end based on that. Uh, right, so I could do this. Ah, oh, you moved. Ah, uh, those really lock you in place for a long time. But the fact that you can hit the head and also the body with those Dino Waves really makes the, uh, the fight go easily, go quickly. Uh, okay, well that was data. Okay, I guess we're going back again. Hmm. Ah, something to get them both. Well, Cloudy's down. Still got hit. Amazing. Uh, okay, there's a spot there. I see. I see how it goes. It's actually the first one. Oops, you do this. And then this way. No. Ah, uh, whoops. I was a little bit too close. Alright. Well, let's uh, see a little bit more of uh, what we got going on here. Okay, this is just silly. Skullman's targeting, I believe he always targets the enemy with the most health. I'm not sure if it's random when you have two enemies with the same health in the same area, but he seems to prioritize closer enemies when they are the same. I'm not sure how he decided which of the two fish viruses to go for. Try Spear Eye. Yeah, I wouldn't mind some more of those. So, yeah, you have to hit the edge there, and then it redirects you because you can't bounce back on a diagonal, I guess? Just use a heat shot. It worked last time. Darn, this is a tough program. Let us help you. What? Freud? I've got a lot to, of making up to to you to do. Iceman. Yes, sir. Inhale the ice. Okay. Thanks, Iceman. Let's get Wily. Right on. Good luck. Okay, Roger. Uh, I could probably fight you right now. Uh, I know that you can do it. Please save us. I'll help you anytime. But, I mean, like I said, I, I don't have Iceman version 3 yet, so... Uh, there is a reason to not... Um, sorry, a reason to fight him still. Uh, but I haven't really been using the Iceman ships. It's fine. Alright, back to the traffic light network. Oh, whoops, I uh, screwed that up. Hmm. Right, more fire. I mean, let's just do... Let's just do this. That went pretty well. Thunder 2. Okay, so that was equivalent to not doing anything. Then I can flip this once. Hmm. You're not... Oh, I guess you're kind of red-colored. 
We did see one of you on the uh, endgame internet area one time. Alright, lock on one. That's a new chip. Happy to see that. Well, this is the way to go. Uh, what are you? Are you wood element? Not jelly, because they had fire, like the wave and lava wave, I think. But what are you? Electric wave, maybe? That would kind of make sense for a jellyfish for some reason. Sword, wide, long. Just do that so that I can hit them both. Ah, uh, whoops. That's interesting, because we got a, an intersection, so we can choose which way we want to go. I guess there's probably data there, if I had to guess. Should I go back for it? That looked like a dead end to me. Uh, Skullman. Hmm. Not a great set of chips. Okay, maybe we can uh, kill the jelly with the skull man if we damage the fire aura. Nope. Well, at least we broke the aura, so we should... Yeah. Oh no. Could have gone with another chip, probably. Oh well. So they were purple waves. I wonder... Interesting. That's just a complete dead end if you go that way? That can't be right. Oh, maybe we go down the other way and we get an extra flip or something. Or, no. Hmm. I don't know. Break the aura, otherwise it's gonna be wasted. Oh wait, he might be teleporting out of it though. Yeah. Okay, oh, another time bomb. Hmm. Well, if I do that... Okay, it's just data. Time bomb three, another time bomb. I guess it makes sense that we would see both of you here together. Mm. All right, so if I come through here, I want it to be reversed, and it was. Okay. Well, we can grab the data down here. Hmm.
Well, there's a chance this will be a double delete. Which, uh, okay, good start. Okay. Might get that new wave chip. Probably Zenny, though. Yep. Only 602. Uh, HP memory? Okay. Now the first hit's just going to break the shield without doing damage. Oh. It doesn't matter how many times you hit. Right, because it's one single hit for up to 300 damage, because that's how it gets around uh, iframes, I guess. Well, that still went pretty smoothly. Aqua Aura. I already have that one. I want the other one. Okay, that lets us do this. Let's just kill you. Oh, it wasn't uh, timing my way through that. I think it's harder than the Gaia chips, maybe, to get the dodge. And random boulder. Hold on, don't forget about us. Right, Dex had to do something. Leave the hard parts to me and Gutsman. We'll handle this. Hmm, sure you can do it? Trust me, you should save your strength for the last battle. Yo, Gutsman. Thanks, Gutsman. Yeehaw! Dex, you really came through. Of course, silly, but it's not over yet. You're right. Okay, I'm off. But I wonder how you all knew to come here. Hmm, nothing beats being guts. I suppose that's true. Good luck, Land. We're all counting on you. Uh, I'll take you on anytime you're ready. Oh, Land, you got mail. The Life Virus. Did you all see the World 3 broadcast? Things are getting sticky. I got some info on the life virus from a lab connections. I thought all the net battlers should know about this. Life virus, ultimate virus made up of four programs, fire, aqua, elect, and wood, possessing no elemental weakness. No effective combat strategies known. That's what it says. Honestly, I don't know how my net navy can fight it. I've got some other info here. Apparently there's evidence that the life virus defense program was copied by someone. Something to do with World 3 or the endgame? Who knows? All we can do is practice with our chips and wait. Oops. That was uh, an unfortunate extra click. Okay, well, we can go into the lab. The plans for the World 3 plot. All of their schemes are outlined in these documents. Okay, we have incriminating uh, evidence. The screen is filled with data. It's the Master Control Center for the World 3. Self-portrait of Wiley. Hey, Lan, check out all these footprints. Hey, yeah. Let's check around here again. Okay, well, before we do that... What happens if we go up this way? Even more securely locked than the other doors so far. No jack-in port, either. Okay. Let's examine the portrait again. You notice the picture swings back. Lan, it's a secret door. Cool, we can jack in here. And, of course, we still have the power plant. The one main network that we never went into, but no battery gimmick, uh, no our battery draining gimmick this time. Still have the invisible floor tiles, though. Hmm. Well, this is awkward. Might as well get these out, because they're not going to reach that back virus ever. I guess we're just going to use the buster. Candle 2. It's kind of funny to me just how early in the game you can get access to Candle 3. The 
compared to the other ones. Hmm. Probably should should have done barrier first. We'll try for the double delete. I was contemplating whether I wanted to do a Dino Wave and uh, hit them to weaken their health before doing that. Uh, but Stone Man came through and Big Wave. Okay. Is that just water again? It is. 160. It's a little bit better than 80. Funny. Okay. Cool. Multi-body snake enemy. It's a new virus type. I like it when uh, endgame dungeons have new viruses. Or new, en new enemies. So it's like, not just reskins and all that. Okay, is that everything that way? Or do I have to go that way again? Another lock on. Well, I guess we do this again, rubbing up against every single wall. Yeah, that's so bad because yeah it's just so bad because uh, by the time I recover uh, I've already taken a hit those chips all right well back this way okay so this was probably forward progress then uh, new bubble wrap, okay. Mm, bubble wrap 3Q. Did I just not go this way? I guess not. It looks like no batteries either. Like the other battery puzzle. I'm probably gonna get hit by doing this, but I'm gonna try it. Yeah. Once we've done a double steal, Stone Man just steals every. Uh, we'll just take out everything. Guaranteed 300 damage. Hmm, I feel like I'm going away from my destination. to see what Stone Man does. And then we'll know what we're dealing with. Alright, pretty good.
Uh, big wave K. Oh, there's just a free big wave. Okay. Hmm. You again. It's probably not going to be terribly effective, but we'll try it. Oh. That went way better than I was expecting. He managed to crawl his way into two of them. Uh, okay. They do go side sideways a little bit. It's just that they have a range of three. Hmm. Okay, so I can't do that. Can I go on this side? No. How about from here? Anywhere I can go? down this way. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't want to go that way. What's the path I'm missing? Yikes, this is going to be bad. Uh, especially if I do that. Oh my god. Pretty bad. I should probably just take the Typhoon chips out, honestly. I wonder if I have enough lock-on chips. I've never tried those, either. A lock-on... I have two of them. Uh, 10 damage, huh? Looking for something... A coded... Ah, uh, maybe we'll just put the thunder back in. Still not great, but better than whatever the other thing was. Okay, um, have I gone this way? Okay, that was really obvious and I just never tried it. Careful. When you fight the top world through Navi, your Navi's save feature will be disabled. You may want to save here. It's close. Very close. Yeah, so... Hmm. The thing is, if I do save here... Well, I don't think I, don't think I can, because if the recording... Like, there's 99% well, more than that. There's basically a statistically 100% chance that the recording is going fine. But because I only have one save in the game, I do want to absolutely make sure that I can watch the recording before I have before I save and lose the ability to go back to where I was. Weird, I can't use my batteries here. For real? Not after we made it so far. Lan, I'm here at last. Mail, you too? What's going on here? Roll. Hi, Omega. What are you all doing here? I saw you near the school entrance, and I told everyone, so we all came to help out. Man, I was doing fine by myself. Yeah, right. Is that any way to show gratitude? Really? Roll? Roll out. Yep. 
Roll flash. Thanks, roll. We did it. You take care of yourself, Mega. Sure thing. Now, Lan, thank Mail. Nobody asked her to... What now? Thanks. You really saved me. Thanks to all of you guys. Oh, Lan? I was so worried. Sorry, I meant to be cheering you on, not crying. Good luck, Lan. Mail, leave it to me. I'm jacking out. Wait. Sorry to interrupt such a touching scene, but this is as far as I can allow you to go. Who are you? I am Yahoot, right-hand man to Wily of the World 3, and I am his Navi Magic Man. And for my next trick... Oh, I just unload with everything, I guess. Checking to see if he was going to uh, be invulnerable or not. I really want to take out that loudest, and I don't think I did. Okay, well, that's. Oh, that's not what I thought I had, and uh, he moved. Okay. Well, I can do this to take out the remaining enemy. It seems to be random what he summons, and he just stands in place, so once you've dealt with a few things, uh, not too bad after all. Okay, let's try lock on and see what this does. Oh no, I've created a stage obstacle. I mean... It's doing pretty good. That was kind of funny. Probably, probably should have been watching the enemies and not my own satellite thing. Would have taken less damage, but we got through. We did it. Ugh. Yahoot! Not you too. Here, use this bit data from the life virus. Whew. Life magic, huh? Ugh. Yahoot! I did it! You can say goodbye to Mega Man.exe. No! M magic Man, look out! Ah, uh. uh, too late. Mega! Lan? Lan, your father gave me this. Here. Hub.bat? What's this? Emergency, receiving call. Hello? Lan? Dad, make amends. Dr. Kari, I'm sorry, I was too late. Lan, listen to me. You can still save Mega Man. But he's not responding. Apply the hub.bat to Mega Man. There may still be time. But before you use hub.bat, I have to tell you something. It might make it hard for you to use Mega Man, okay? Uh, I don't really understand what you mean, but I'll do anything if it might save Mega Man. Then listen. About ten years ago, I was working on a new kind of Navi. The kind of Navi that could truly befriend its operator. A program is only a program. Uh, just uh, thinking about the current state of AI and how people are interacting with chatbots and things like that. It's like, this could be the future, I suppose. Uh, though I could make a Navi follow its operator's orders, I couldn't make one think and act on its own. So I started thinking, maybe if you had some connection with your Navi, the Navi could respond to your emotions, and thereby create its own emotions. So I tried. I tried looking at human DNA. I came to a conclusion. If I made a Navi with DNA just like its operators, its basic values and emotions would be the same. Operator Navi would become a single entity, making an ultimate Navi. But it was tough making a program with DNA. I could make about 95% of the program, but no more. I just couldn't figure out that last 5%. My research came to a sudden stop. It was all around then that I had a son. A cute baby boy. We named him Hub. But our happiness didn't last long. He had heart trouble and became too weak to live. So I thought, somehow, I'll keep his memory alive. 
Plant. Pop was your twin brother. We were born from the same egg. Your DNA is identical. I could use Hub's DNA to make a Navi for you. Suddenly, I had the DNA solution I'd been searching for. The Navi I made was Megaman.exe, and the results proved that I was right. Megaman.exe is a new generation of Navi, as close to you as a brother. But there was a danger. If I made the DNA 100% the same, the Navi's internal and external state might sync with your with you, so damage to the Navi would damage you too. So if you die in the game, you die in real life. Uh, so I changed Megaman.exe's DNA by 0.001%. If you use hub.bat, that 0.001% will disappear. You mean Megaman will be born again as my twin? Correct. I was always sending Megaman into such dangerous places. Did Megaman, I mean Hub, know the truth? I asked Hub to keep it a secret. If you knew the truth, you'd be too scared to use him. And a Navi that you can't use isn't a good Navi. So what will you do? I'll let you decide. But Hub... I'll lose Mega Man. Remember, if your DNA is 100% the same, you will be affected by whatever affects your Navi. And the reverse is true too. Lan, if you truly think you can beat the World Pre, I think Hub will sense that, and he'll come back to help. Okay, I'll use Hub.bat. Lan, you're doing the right thing. Applying Hub.bat to Mega Man.exe. Hub, come fight by my, my side. No reply. Hmm? Lan? Hub! It's me, Lan! Wake up! Lan, ugh. What happened to me? Hub, it's you! Lan? You called me Hub! Hub, I've told Lan everything. We used Hub.bat to bring you back. Dad, I see. That light means your program is being rewritten. When the light goes down, your power should be increased. Yeah, I can feel the energy inside me. Lan, I'm sorry for not telling you the truth earlier. Hub, I'm sorry for ordering you around all these years. No problem. I always regretted not being able to be with you in the real world, but being able to watch you grow from inside here made me happy. Hub, so how do I operate you now, I wonder? Just be yourself, and I'll be myself, Mega Man. Let's hurry. Lan, I'm counting on you. Right, okay, let's go, Mega Man. Right on. Mega Man, I'm so glad to see you. Ah, no need for thanks. I'm just keeping you around for entertainment value. Great job. Oh, Proto Man, I guess. Hmm, you again. Why are you always in my way? Smart call on your part. Yeah, I got better things to do. Uh, good luck, Land. I know you can do it. You can do anything you set your mind to. <laughs> Once I press this button, bye bye world. Dr. Hikari may have kicked me out of his little lab, but now I get my revenge. Wait, Wily! Ah, Hikari's little boy Lan, I presume. Leave it to the Hikaris to bother me to the very end. The end game is revenge against my family? Why? Hmm, shall I tell you? Thirty years ago, two famous scientists competed to be best. Me and your grandfather, Dr. Hikari. I made robots, and Hikari specialized in networks. We were both lost in our research. Then, one day, in order to win an international competition, our country had to pick one of our projects to fund. After a long debate, they cancelled my robot research! I couldn't believe it! My research was vital! Vital! I had no place to turn to, and so I left the lab. That's why I'm mad, if it wasn't for Hikari. So I made the world three to get back at him. He made this world what it is, and now I'll destroy it. But he didn't cancel your research. It's not his fault. Huh. That's what he said, too. You'll never understand how I feel. Never! Enough talking. World, prepare for deletion! I really like this sprite. It's like, he's gonna press the red button. He's gonna do it. Any minute now. No! Ha <laughs> ha. Never. Not if Mega Man and I can help it. Jack in. Mega Man. Got EXE transit. Yeah, see, like, what they did here, like, they could have just done something like this with the net. And in later games, I guess they did do stuff like this. Alright, here's the wood virus we heard about. 80 damage is required to break its shield. However, you can't hit the face outside of the shield. Now, this chip, coincidentally, happens to do 80 damage, so that kind of works out for me, I guess. 
Oh, these are hitting pretty hard. getting a double delete out of it, but I took a lot of damage. Alright. Uh, one more fight before the end, maybe? I guess fire would be decently effective against them. Or Dino Wave, there's always Dino Wave. Yep. Plan, the life virus. If we can delete it, the World 3's plans will be foiled. This is it. Our ultimate virus bashing. Battle routine set. Execute. Alright. Hmm. Okay, Bora went down to attack. Otherwise you have to hit it really hard to to break it. Yeah, 100 damage, no elemental weakness. Uh, no iframes on hit, okay. basically these little bug viruses that are doing uh, tower type attacks. Oh. Oh. I think the steel is completely useless in this fight. We'll try it. Actually, I guess I do 10 damage to the bug. Oh no. Um, okay, let's clean up some of these chips, just get them out. Uh, I was hoping it's going to spawn a bug, but I guess I could have waited. Oh, somehow dodged that. Okay, are you gonna ignore the enemies? No. Can I do that? I can, interesting. That's actually really good for me. Oh, 
Whoops. Stone Man might destroy it. Don't really want to do that. Uh, it got destroyed anyway, but Stone Man might finish this off. Alright, and that's the Life Virus. My life virus! What? What? What have you done? My baby! My world three! No! Warning! Warning! Virus leak! All systems malfunctioning! Self-destruct sequence activated! Uh-oh! But my precious world three laboratory! Let's get out of here! Mega Man! Jack out! Roger. Lan! Lan, are you okay? Hey guys! And the life virus? History! Yippee! Where's everyone else? They got away to safety like smart people while we sat around and chatted. Yep. Great, now let's scram. Let's mosey more like. That was. Okay, there we go. Actually, do other characters even have run animations? World 3, forever! And so. Good job, Lan. And Hub. I mean, Mega Man. Oh, I'm so glad the two of you are okay. Sorry, Mom. Well, I never thought raising two boys was going to be easy. Isn't that right, honey? Heh, they couldn't have done it without you. Thanks. They couldn't have done it without us, you mean. Honey. Honey. Heh <laughs> your mom and dad sure get along well, Lan. I know, it's really embarrassing. Maybe we could learn from them. Huh? What are you talking about? We're just friends. Lan, Lan, Lan. He really is dense, isn't he? That's right, Roll. You said it, Mega. Look, even Roll and Mega Man are in the mood. I've had it with you, Lan. After it was so nice. I shouldn't have rescued you after all. I, I don't get it. What am I doing wrong? Yowzas! Woo woo! Mail and Lan up in a tree. Mail and... Huh? Mail? Are you... Do you? Isn't it obvious? Really? Uh, yeah, but I... Don't deny it, Lan. Ah, that's it. This conversation's over. And we're going to continue to deny it for the remaining... The other five games in the, in the series as well, probably. Uh, just thanks for rescuing me, you two. Dex always pays his debts. Don't mention it. Thanks, Dex. You're a true friend. That's right. You need a little more practice, though, Dex. What? Is that me? Practice? Why, you? Well, now, aren't we all the happy bunch now? Jod. Thanks. You really helped out, too. No need to thank me. In fact, you made me look pretty bad. Because you did all the work. Huh. Grumpy as ever, I see. But I couldn't have stopped World 3 if you hadn't helped. Thank you. Yeah, well, thanks accepted. This time. But next time something happens, you leave the fighting up to me and Proto Man. Hey, we'll be right by your side, right, Mega Man? Uh, sorry, I mean, if you want to, um, hug? Mega Man's the name, and I'm with you all the way. As a team land, we're unstoppable. Yeah, right. Oh, wait, just one thing. From now on, you're getting up by yourself in the morning. Got it? What? Really? Aw? What? There can't be a crook here now. The alarm system must be buggy again, darn old thing. Lan, we've got a job to do. Right on, let's go. Jack in. Megaman.exe. Transmit. Alright, and that is Mega Man Battle Network 1. I really like this franchise. Uh, it's... Mm, it's one of those things where... A lot of, um, like, I, I, I hate comparing it to Pokemon, which is why I'm hesitating on what I'm saying here, but I think I'm going to. Um, Pokemon as a concept feels like everything that I would want in a game, but somehow the execution just doesn't keep my interest. And this game, maybe just the way the combat system works in this game as opposed to in, in something like Pokemon, but this game feels like it took the Pokemon formula of, you know, capturing enemies and making them into your allies and really pushing it to um, into something uh, something special. So I'm really glad that these games finally came out on Steam, uh, so that they're available if you don't have the the console, because it's uh, pretty hard to get a hold of these. But yeah, it's 
it's great to have them back. Uh, I do plan on doing the second game in the series at the very least. Uh, I think the second's my favorite of the ones I've played, which is a little bit of all of them, but not so much of six. I, I never finished five or six. Uh, barely started six. But yeah, two um, was my favorite from what I remember. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to be taking a break uh, from the series, but I will be going back to that at some point. I guess as far as this game goes, there are still a few things to do. I know that there are secret bosses. I've never gotten to them uh, on any of my previous playthroughs. I never made it that far. But that might be the sort of thing where if I am grinding away at this on my own time, if I'm at a point where I can interact with one of the endgame bosses, then Mega Man level... Oh, the end, okay. It's like, why is there a the by itself? Um, but if I'm at a point where I can do those bosses, maybe I'll just record my first time fighting them. Um, but uh, I wouldn't hold my breath on that one. I feel, as, as I recall, the requirements to getting them were very grindy and cumbersome, and I probably would honestly... Well, I definitely would just rather be playing the other Mega Man Battle Network games instead of playing more of this one. Uh, this game was rough in a lot of ways. I still like it as a as a concept, but I think it's pretty safe to say that Mega Man Battle Network 1 is the worst game in the franchise. Which, you know, it's nice to see that a franchise is actually improving with every iteration. It's not something that you can just take for granted these days, unfortunately. But uh, in this case, they definitely, they definitely managed to pull that off. I know a lot of people really like 3. I think 3 and 6 are held up as the, the best games in the franchise. Uh, 2 is quite well liked as well from what I've heard. Like I said, I think 2 is my favorite. 5 has the whole liberation mission thing, which is like a separate like tactics kind of game mode, which is going to be hit or miss whether you like that or not. That's probably why people don't list 5 as their favorite, because I imagine that wasn't universally one of the everybody's favorite gimmicks with this franchise. And then there was 4, which uh, is probably... I would say it's still a better game than 1, but um, a lot of people really... Love to hate on 4, for reasons. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for Mega Man Battle Network for now. I will see you next time for another game. Uh, achievement unlocked, the first of many victories. And I have a star on the menu. Excellent.